firm in Solihull has been given an award after creating a solar generator which could transform life for people in developing countries. Aeson Solar is now planning to take on three more staff with the intention of a very rapid expansion to more than 40 as worldwide sales increase, Sarah Falkland reports. 16 million people use mobile phones in Ghana, but only 6 million have access to electricity. It's a fact that this Solihull entrepreneur likes to quote, and a reason he finally got his prototype solar generator off his desk. Eight hours later, there I am in, in Nairobi. Lo and behold, halfway uh, in the meeting, there was a power cut. So I stood up, no problems. I could run your computer, the lighting, which I did. And I was known as Solar Man. Solar Man came home, persuaded his dad to come out of retirement and the bank to give him a hefty loan. And here we have it, the world's first four-pin solar-powered docking station with iPod sound system. And this is how it works. Solar panel over here that's portable, suitcase style, creates 12-volt electricity. Now, the clever bit is that those 12 volts come into this box. They're fed into an inverter, which in effect makes it into ordinary household electricity of 240 volts, which means it can power anything you like. These docking stations are off to Ghana on Friday with the promise of an order for 500 more every month. Mark's just won the West Midlands Export for Growth Prize. I've always said I want to be the James Dyson of the solar docking station industry, so that's my ambition and obviously winning the award will help us get to that ambition that I have. The potential is huge. We're excited in South Sudan at the moment because we have an application for mobile cell phone stations. So they're looking at a business for a charity, for a lady to be sitting there charging people's mobile phones and charging a dollar for 15 minutes charge, but our docking station can charge up to 30 phones at a time. He's now concentrating on solar full time and offloading his other entrepreneurial ventures. Sarah Falkland, BBC Midlands Today in Solihull. What a great business story.